Our stories used to be so simple. We had a bit of a catch up, I think. Middle, definitely not bored of it. Good. I'm glad. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone, and I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. She's alive. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like. Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. She did a little tail flick move there. The when she was on the pole, arms. she's the little mermaid. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Catch him. Ichabod, why? Mm, any of these, really? I'll kill him. I'll rip him apart. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Probably shouldn't just spread that around. I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. Relationship drama these two. Bigby! Wait! What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her, but... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Fair point. Played this game such a long time ago, I actually don't remember exactly what's coming, which is great. Same, to be honest. Crazy how long ago this came out now. I am uh, honored to be asked to speak to them. I had a funeral. A troll funeral. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I guess it could happen still. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that... that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. Offerings. But I also know that... that the memory of Lily will sustain I'll miss well. worrying about you. And it will, I'll miss our time, fights. Equal I'll miss in strength you. to our mourning Holly. for loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so Now you will never die from indifference or lead a tedious How life. She could be Goodbye, stubborn sweetheart. and patient. Thanks for everything. Rash and thoughtful. Vivian. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for um pageantry. You were a big and most bright of all, shining star it seems in this shithole Lily of a loved town. And I miss you loved already. Her friends and family. Ren. She loved Lovely. being around them, in good times and bad. 
I never met her favorite hat but from what I've been told. I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Interrupt the moment. What on earth do you think you're I know, I know, but something's happened. Not right now. No, you don't understand. I waited long enough. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't get the fuck out of here. God damn it. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. What did I do? Holly, I'm sorry. But I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. He's you getting rid of the evidence. Bigby gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. Oh, we're friends He's now. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I feel like we were pretty nice about the whole thing. How rude. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. Oh, when you what pull to this start kind with. of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the open arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily. And his background making her look like you while he was you know this is I don't even know what to say right Dude, now you throw up I really don't I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it I'm sorry snow well actually I have a picture and I'm Take sorry I had to be the one to tell you you're sure this is what happened this is what he's been doing because please big B don't show her steps. the photo oh Crane no would be the next step. and if we get this wrong it would mean more than our jobs we'd get just kicked know out of photos. fable town for messing all of this up so badly crane has been taking photos now lots of photos photos that show him he's been recording his visits with lily god look let's i don't even go remember this game being office. this dark but god, it's Crane's like so adult this hour, but we need to talk and this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? Mm. No. Did you give her info? I don't know. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! 
So what are you doing after this? Oh, oh she left. Never mind. Is it much to dress like that at a funeral? Constable. Even if you are a fable. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, hmm. and we leave you alone. Just I don't think take so. a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- The hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Can't agree to that, Bigby, though. Bigby, what is he talking about? We have Never to go after him to that. protect it Snow. Any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Yeah, listen to your lady, love. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! dead. Oh boy. Hell of a funeral. Music's so good. I love their neon pink. Dun 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 dun. A crooked mile. We'll at least finish this episode today, and then we'll see where we're at. Ah, oh, yes. The quintessential, I got shot or injured and must take my take shirt off whilst shot, I'm getting patched up shot. still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. Check They'll out my warm chest. Way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Jacked. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. 
Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your right. blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. It's called stress. Business office. What's up, Joan? I know. How's it going? I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my shirt off for a bit longer whilst we hang out here alone and uh <clears throat> So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. Leave it, Big B, you fool. So we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. Bad luck jigsaw I don't know puzzle if Crane over there. Sent them. I don't know if. I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He He's, ran there. He was a conniver, a, a coward. What's the note? A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. Any time. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. Oh. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know what he would say to that. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Well, yes, it's, uh... Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No, we can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hmm. Right. Let's see what that note was. Strutting, strutting around. <laughs> Super Twix, thank you so much for the Prime for 32. I appreciate it. 
Thank you for the support. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm right to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross. I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Mr. Crane... You said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why the farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Wayland Did Smith. Did ever do any work? Only when Call was around. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. Hell yes. I mm. <laughs> need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. Susie, 26, thank you for the I prime. Five months three so I appreciate in my it. Head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Yank it. <sighs> Found the potato. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. Useless. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me I Rita. called just to see if you knew where Crane could be. And that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert? Or not. No, it can't be fixed. His it's voice missing is a very piece. cool. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. I mean, may as well use his help. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look. We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you are chosen to run this office. 
Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Back Snow all the way. <sighs> all right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to I check I want a flying first. monkey. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Hmm. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safest choice. Bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, Cozy. this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Where am I gonna go? Find the witch. So I have to choose between so Crane alone and we leave you alone. Going after the Tweedles. You, but there's some business I need to attend to. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't Crane's need place. I don't need charity. Or Holly's bar. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Okay. That's a tough choice. Where should I go? D's office and go after them and find out who they're working for, what it is they want. Crane's apartment and search that. Or Holly's bar. I feel like his apartment, he may have left a clue as to where he's going, right? Holly's bar is kind of like, they're mad at me anyway. His place is right upstairs, so... I feel like Bigby would just go up there and kick the door in and... Search it and find out more about him, if he's our suspect, I guess. Stalin's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. Sorry. News flash. Winging it, babe. I ain't got a Scooby. What's this one? Why is the door open? Whose is this? Oh, that's his. That one's Thrush... Thrushbeard. Hmm. Crane? 
12.05 a.m. One hour and 55 minutes left. Swanky. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Imagine having a model of yourself. Same brand we found in the open arms. Look at that. What a view. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. The size of that book, The Joy of Lovemaking. Oh my god. And then what do I do? Hmm. Next chapter. Yes. And for how long exactly? Ooh, messages. The crooked man. There are ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would Isn't be that great. from like a nursery rhyme or something, right. the crooked man? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya. This hasn't been used in years. Didn't he have like a crooked dog or something? Or like some. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Back in Sleepy Hollow. Reference? Hmm. It's like I went to see a crooked man or something. It starts like that. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Yoink. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm not watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. Okay, so now we have a key. I love you so much, Snow. I got a book and everything. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Where's this key going? I've been revising. Really? Bedroom door. Oh, well, well, well. <gasps> Jack? Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. Hmm. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Whoa. <laughs> okay! <laughs> you got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. I wanted to do I'd this like since the last episode. Teeth. 
Is this really fucking necessary? Start talking, Jack. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. So don't, you know, hit me again. Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. <clears throat> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murders should be your top priority? I'm taking care of it. That's all you need to know. I feel so much better. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, hmm. I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on. I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is. Why didn't you if you're interested, say that? Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wipe yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. incident under the rug. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but... From what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us. Uh, shut up. <sighs> there was a crooked man. He walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against Hang a crooked a style. He oh, caught a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. They all lived together in a little crooked house. Nice. Let's have a look at what you're yoinking here. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. If it don't... Is that it? Pick me? Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? That's not important right now. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Let him off her with it. Green. Bigger Anti fish green. to fry. He doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. 
Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. Oh, I gotta pick where to and go we now. Know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Well, if Bluebeard already went to D and Dumb, then I'm gonna go to Trip Trap. I'll go to the Trip Trap. See about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. No point following Sounds behind good. him. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. Just we'll find a bloody stop. mess. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> oh? From climbing bean stalks to climbing the tower. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just <laughs> the fact what that I can happened? kick the door open is you know so rude. Or how it happened. Why would she want to hear that? I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? <laughs> the language. Brent, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Probably too late. The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this, since it's important to the case. What did I tell you before? I'm sure I don't know. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. Trying to get First, sense out of drunk people. Indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. 
Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. Just do it. To the dead. All right, now help me. <laughs> Is this from him Ren, mixing Doc it? Doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna oh warn me about God, it, huh? Dude. You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now your Woodsman's having a bad week. Such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. So can I look at those things now? Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Gren won't remember this. <laughs> He's wasted. See if we can find it without waking her. I mean, was that not it? That's the stuff, isn't it? Clink, clink, clink. Be quiet, Big B. Jeez. Oh, take it in the other room if you're going to be a rummaging. I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. I thought you were a friend. What's that? Did 
dress. Lily's funeral. It was just so fun. Like, oh my tonight. god, you're meant to be asleep. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just... He's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Why is the right well, thing so often the hardest thing? I know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Got him. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. Get I'll to it. There. All right, I'll see you there. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Crank it up a notch. Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort. Well, what's the point in being life? the sheriff if I don't get to kick sense. doors in? Thank you. It's like one of the perks of the job. Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't Just aware kicks the door open and the kid goes flying back. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... We're not strangers. Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Bioshock vibes with this is kid. I saw today that there's uh, there Netflix is doing a Bioshock series of films. I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Pretty cool. Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? Well, this has all been thoroughly enlightening, but I'm still gonna have to search the apartment, so We're step on the aside. clock. Please, I don't know if I'm allowed. Oh, it's okay. Really. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Sheriff. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Hmm. Lots of plants in here. I'm thinking of buying some been plants. Over all night, so... He's just going to check. For It'll the bedroom. To put along the sill. What to like oxygenate Mommy the room. Uses that to What's a good house plant? It's from the old world. Trinkets. What's something that I won't like kill glamours? by forgetting to water it for a week? Not here. There's no one here but me. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. Some shrubbery. Dowdy. 
That's how we like it. But also, like, if I have hay fever, am I allergic to, like, even just... Shrubs? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. That your mom? Uh-huh. Mm -mm, a plastic one. Well, I have plastic ones now. I was trying to upgrade for the I quality of it. Succulents. Oh? It was a pretty one. Cactus. I've got a cactus in the bathroom. Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. What mountain? Uh, snake plants. Do you like I haven't heard of those. Not really. I a love money it. plant. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Mm -mm -mm. Got hay fever. I'm okay with plants without flower blooms. Do you have any pets? Not technically. The butcher. The butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the butcher. It's empty. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Mm, why are you guarding over here, huh? Secret compartment. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Just backhands the child. Where is he? <laughs> Snow's like, Jesus. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. No, you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. No, put it down. Please, don't. This isn't what you think. you got to believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Anti green leaf. Gotcha. It hurts when you do it that fast. Hashtag no context. Pothos, nearly indestructible low light. What? Not sprightly enough? Why, Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't this. think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. That good enough for you? Or it usually works, anyway. Most people aren't sick enough to strong-arm a kid. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. It's because I knew you I were lying. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is going to prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is! I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. A skink. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, love really, that big tree. Whatever she has. it is that's keeping you from saying something. I also feel like my cats are a hundred percent gonna like knock this them off the sill important. and stuff and eat them. Is it? You should be a lot more afraid of me and whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. They chew the plastic you ones. You have no as idea is. what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think. I think we've been oh, more Obi than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. 
We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Uh, it's a I'm tough sorry, one. Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? I don't want to destroy a her tree. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play with I'd never do trust it. Trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. Whoa. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. Keep it the tree? What do you right think? Should I burn the Big tree? Key. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. Oh, that was like so fast. Thanks for the choice. Newest witch in residence. Bigby. I think Snow is being a bit harsh. Witches over there keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most. You can't just like destroy someone's life. This is like homegrown. Like, do you know what I mean? Tree. If I was the sheriff, I'd be like. Just don't expect whatever. me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. If I'm Bigby, I'm so like, I'm looking forward to the dramas in the office between you two. Let me get the popcorn ready. Something like that. Meow. We'll call you. Saucer of milk. Uh... <laughs> Did we just get hit by a car? What the heck was that? I thought that was That's part of the game. Car. Expecting the door to come off. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. Hey, Sean Bean! Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, you don't learn, do you, mate? Fuck, man! Tell me what you know now. You can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I. Crane, get away from her. Do anything, I promise you, I didn't do anything. Slap him, Snow. Girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I d just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you can't. You have to just give me the chance. That was so this disrespectful. Work. I assure you. Everything will be solved. Not even worth a closed fist. I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please, tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. Mm, guess he didn't do it. Still a creep, though. How many years? 
What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. Is that my handprint on his face? I those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... I just... Oh, God. <laughs> Are you all right? We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's that was. I just. I just I, I, love I, I, you, I'm Snow. Not well. I've got I a love, sickness. I love you, and, and I'm sorry. I'm not Prince Charming. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby, I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not, he wouldn't be brave enough. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room. I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown. Of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? I We've do. I've known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. This fuck up <laughs> like, more than he I can't said. believe I'm hearing this. Who are you? I don't. I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. I'd say slap him, actually, for her, We're not gonna kill you. He might enjoy so it. So quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices, and you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had, and the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Oh, God. If I were you, I'd keep that trap of your shot. Break his beak. You'd have to. <laughs> he would just shove him about everywhere, wouldn't he? What are you saying? Why is he not in, like, cuffs or something? He could try and run. So many cars. The Tweedles. Hi. What you got there?
Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, bloody Ma Mary. Bloody Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Oh! I, I was I was leaning back. I wasn't ready. Bigby? I'm Wolverine, baby. Seems a bit much. Control yourself a little bit, Big B. So, like, is this hot or is that like a. Just didn't know when to end. Kind of dumb not keeping an eye on her, honestly. Ooh. The you axe. Know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a, oh. a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a 
Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. I'm maxed. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, don't do this. It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Ow! A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Yikes. Next time. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. Again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? No. The eyes. Nice. Did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? You were nineteen percent. Oh, what place did you go first? Same as thirty-nine percent. Make a deal with Jack. Seventy percent. Seventy-nine percent did not burn the tree. Fifty-five showed mercy. An interesting split. Nice. Well, that was a really cool episode. <laughs>